What is the coldest place on Earth? You probably think about snow and ice in the Antarctica. However, you can find a much colder place in sunny Barcelona, in the research group where I do my PhD in quantum physics. We cool down atoms close to absolute zero, minus 273 degrees Celsius. What happens with matter so incredibly cold and why are we doing it? We want to predict the behavior of complex materials, where collective quantum effects are important. These effects are not relevant in most objects of our everyday life. They rely on the uncertainty each particle has. You will find a particle not in a clearly defined point in space, but sometimes here, sometimes there. The bigger the particle's uncertainty, the bigger the space where you can find it. For our everyday life objects, this uncertainty is so tiny that it's completely irrelevant. Luckily, so your chair is always at the same position. To observe the effects caused by the uncertainties, we have to go to the microscopic world, to the level of single atoms. Collective quantum effects are important in some solids, when the atoms are so close to each other that their uncertainty overlaps. Now, these are the materials we want to understand better, but it is very difficult to single out and quantify quantum effects here. So instead, in my research group we have a guess, where atoms are quite far apart, like that we can easily describe them. However, now to obtain overlapping uncertainties of these atoms, we have to increase those. And here the temperature comes in. As we cool down the atoms, the uncertainty in space increases. And finally, close to absolute zero, they overlap. We now have a guess where we can very well observe and control quantum effects of many atoms. And we can use it to simulate these complex materials. It's like building a Lego world, but we have quantum Lego bricks Made, of, made out of ultra-cold atoms and built models of the solids we want to study. Our system is cleaner, simpler and much more controllable than these solids, so it's easier to understand fundamental concepts and the role of quantum effects. Currently, I am working on simulating electrons at extremely high magnetic field. This will help us to understand topological materials important for quantum computation or the new generation of microelectronic components. So it's in the coldest places on Earth where we can glance into the quantum world, predict the behavior of exotic or completely novel materials and better understand nature.